And we're hearing uh, about more developments from Russia's National Anti-Terror Committee. Let's uh, go back uh, to Moscow and speak to Yulia Shapovalova. Yulia, what can you tell us? Well, actually, we're getting reports right now that Yevgeny Prigozhin, but first let me uh, tell you a little bit about that. So, Yevgeny Prigozhin actually replied to Mr. Putin's statements, and uh, he said that they're not going to surrender, that uh, they, they are patriots and they will continue fighting uh, with the system and against corruption in the country as well. So, we do uh, receive some reactions, some official reactions on Putin's words here, like a foreign ministry spokeswoman uh, said about unity within the country. Uh, former pr pr Russian President Dmitry Medvedev also said that the country has to unite uh, for the president. Well, it seemed like there is also a new form of expression of loyalty to Vladimir Putin and the Russian armed forces. Officials in their social networks write the name of their region with words, we are with the president. And uh, in his speech, as we remember, uh, Mr. Putin has said that Russia is fighting for its future and its identity, and the authorities of Russia will not allow the country to be divided. They will protect its people. Uh, he called the situation in the country treason and uh, betrayal, saying that any internal unrest is a deadly threat to the state and the Russian people. And he also mentioned the conflict with Ukraine, saying that the entire Western military machine was uh, directed against Russia. And uh, according to him, uh, all Wagner's fighters who participated in the special operation in Ukraine are heroes, and now they should not join the military rebellion. Uh, also, some telegram channels associated with the Wagner group uh, claim that uh, there were actually clashes with the Ministry of Defense in the Voronezh region, but uh, uh, military, some military correspondents write about uh, the work of aviation along the M4 highway, but we can't verify those reports. Uh, well, uh, the investigative committee has launched a criminal case against Evgeny Prigozhin, and uh, FSB uh, appealed to the fighters of the Wagner group and uh, urged them to detain Prigozhin. And uh, earlier on, the head of Wagner called on his supporters to join the ranks of his military uh, company and uh, sort out the chaos, as he called it, uh, chaos in the country, saying that it was not a military coup, but that was a march of justice. Yeah, OK, Yulia Shapovalova, live from Moscow there. Thank you.